Originally, the goal of AI was to essentially recreate the functionality of the human brain. However, humans have realized how complex a human brain actually is, and today AI has adopted the mindset of developing systems that mimic human behaviors. Artificial intelligence is the creation of machines to mimic human capabilities, such as teaching a machine to see by recognizing objects in an image and listen, interpreting and analyzing sounds. Artificial intelligence is a broad term that covers a range of specializations and subsets, such as computer vision and natural language processing. Recall that an algorithm is essentially a set of instructions, a specific fixed recipe that is executed by the computer. The difference between a regular program and an AI program is that in regular programming, the code you write tells the computer exactly what to do, whereas when creating an AI program, you are programming the machine how to learn and make its own decisions. Artificial intelligence is the ability for the machine to make decisions based on data it receives. In comparison, AI is a group of algorithms that can modify its algorithms and create new algorithms in response to provided data. Similarly to how people can improve decisions based on patterns they see, AI can also learn from patterns in data. The more patterns AI sees, the better it gets. AI is the creation of a program that can mimic these intelligent human behaviors, the ability for a computer to sense, reason, act, and adapt. Let's think about this. What do we mean by human intelligence? What makes us intelligent as humans? As humans, we can sense. We use our senses. We can hear, feel, touch, see, and smell. We can reason. We have the ability to make decisions based on information we receive. And we perform an action based on the decision we make. And we can adapt and learn from the results of our actions. An analogy here we can use is tennis. We use our senses to feel the racket and ball in our hands, to see where our opponent is standing, to hear for any cues. Based on where our opponent is and how the ball is coming at us, we will reason as to the best way to hit the ball and where we will hit it. We make a decision and carry through our movement, hitting the ball. Based on the success or failure of our hit, we can use this as feedback for the next time. I give it an example here of learning tennis for AI. But there are many technologies and reasons for adopting AI, such as facial tagging and digital photos, search engines, virtual assistants, and Google Translate. Let's take one of these and unpack it as being able to sense, reason, and act and adapt using the example of a virtual assistant in which we ask about the weather here in Adelaide. The virtual assistant listens for us to say something to it. For example, what is the weather tomorrow in Adelaide? Through processing speech as data, it is recognizing key information such as Adelaide, weather, tomorrow. The assistant uses an AI algorithm to retrieve the information. It reasons that it believes it has found the correct information. The virtual assistant reports to us the weather in Adelaide tomorrow. The virtual assistant will check with us that we are happy with the information it has returned. If we aren't happy, it will follow up with more questions or perform another search. If we are happy, it knows this is the end of our request.